Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is going to be for the Crystal Blue Baby Afghan. This afghan is an easy one row repeat. The afghan measures 32 by 37 inches, just the perfect size for a newborn. You can make this afghan using any color you prefer. You can use a solid color, a self-striping yarn like I did, a multicolor, or just put your own spin on it. I'll be right back and I'm going to tell you everything I used to make this afghan and then you can decide if you want to use a different color or what you want to do. So I'll be right back and give you that material list and then we'll get started. So for today's crochet tutorial, I just want to show you a close up of the pattern. This is the pattern and what I did was I used a larger hook than what was recommended because I wanted a more lacy or delicate look, a little more drape. And I did use two different brands of yarn. Now when I make an afghan, I usually stick to the same brand, but because of what I needed and what I wanted, I had to use two different brands. So for the afghan itself, I chose Ice Yarns Magic Glitz. And I love Ice Yarns Magic Glitz. It just has that special glitz to it that makes your project look really special. And this is the Magic Glitz Blue Shades White. It's color number 61100. And again, I'll have a special link for the Magic Glitz. It'll take you right to the Magic Glitz page. And then you're going to need three skeins. Now this yarn comes in a four pack, so you'll have to order one pack of four if you want to use the same yarn. Now this is a three lightweight yarn, so you don't have to use ice yarns. This was just my preferred yarn to use. You can choose any brand that's a three lightweight yarn to make your afghan. Now this is a self-striping. You can use a solid color, you can use a self-striping, you can use a multi-color, whichever you prefer. So if you want to make it the same way, then you do need three skeins of the Magic Glitz 61100 Blue Shades White. And then what I did was, again, I went with another brand because I wanted something with a little bit of shine and glitter in it. So I used the Karen Simply Soft Party Yarn. You can see it's white. It has that glitter like a fresh fallen snow. Now this is a number four medium weight yarn. It's a little heavier than the three weight, but it worked perfect with this afghan. So I went ahead and used it. So it's up to you. Now I just used this because I thought it looked nicer with that glitter and I wanted to kind of keep the glitter in the border to match the glitter on the inside. So that's why I used this. And you only need one skein of the Karen Simply Soft Party. And this is color number one, Snow Sparkle. So I did forget to tell you how big the skeins are in case you want to use something different. This is 100 gram, 360 meters. It doesn't have the yards or ounces. So uh, go by 100 grams or 360 meters on the yarn labels and you can compare it. So three skeins, and then this skein is a three ounce, 85 grams. It's 164 yards, 150 meters. So that's what you need if you want to substitute something else. So that is what you need in the way of yarn. And then we're going to use two different crochet hooks for this project. You're going to need a size 10J, six millimeter, and that's to crochet the actual afghan. And then when we do the border, I drop down to a size H8 or five millimeter to do this white border. So the larger hook is for the afghan, the smaller hook is to do your border. So that is the materials you're going to need to make this afghan. Now, if you want to make the afghan a different size, maybe larger, maybe smaller, then you're going to use the multiple of two plus three. So you would chain two, two again, and keep chaining in multiples of two until you get it to the width you want, and then you would add three more chains. Now when you work the length, you're going to make sure you end on an even number row in order for the border to come out. So make sure that you always end your pattern on an even number row. So 
That is what you need to know if you want to adjust the size of the afghan. So it's time to get started on our afghan. Grab your yarn, grab your hooks, and let's get started. I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer. We're going to begin with a chain with 83 chains. You're going to yarn over, pull through that loop, and that creates your first chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four. Continue until you have a chain with 83 chains. I'll be back and we'll get row one started. I have my chain with 83 chains and now we're ready to begin row one. Now row one is going to be our base row and row two will be our repeat row. Very easy pattern for this afghan. We're going to begin and we're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from hook. Skip the first chain, insert into the second chain, yarn over, pull through that chain. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two. You just made a single crochet. We're going to work a double crochet into the next chain, yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. We're going to repeat that across to the end of the row to the last two chains. So when you get to the last two chains you're going to stop and I'll meet you there. So let's begin the repeat. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'm going to do it a couple more times with you. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, work a double crochet. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work one single crochet into the next chain, a double crochet into the next, repeat that across to the last two stitches, stop at your last two chains, I'll meet you there and show you how to finish the row. I'm over at the end of row one. You should have two chains remaining and you should have ended with a double crochet and then two chains. We're going to single crochet into the next chain. So now we're over to our last chain and we're going to end the row with a half double crochet. You're going to yarn over Insert into that last chain, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. You want to make sure that you always end with a half double crochet. So with this pattern, the only time you half double crochet is in the last stitch when you're ending the row. Very important that you remember to do a half double crochet. Now we're ready to begin row two. Row two is going to be our repeat row. So we're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're going to skip the chain one. You're going to insert into the first stitch. Make sure you're going under both of those loops of that stitch. Work a single crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. So now we're going to start our repeat and with our repeat when you're looking at your work you'll notice this longer stitch here is a double crochet and then that smaller stitch is the single crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working a single crochet into the next double crochet 
a double crochet into the next single crochet and we're going to repeat that single crochet into the next double crochet and double crochet into the next single crochet and we're going to repeat that across to the last two stitches so let's begin insert into the top of the next stitch and if you're not sure turn your work till you see those top two loops insert your hook work a single crochet yarn over insert into the next stitch work a double crochet and again that is the end of the repeat so let's do it again you're going to single crochet into the next stitch going under both of those top loops work a single crochet yarn over insert into the next stitch work a double crochet and again that is the end of the repeat so let's do it one more time insert into the next stitch work a single crochet yarn over insert into the next stitch and work a double crochet and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and work one single crochet into the next stitch a double crochet into the next repeat that across to the last two stitches I'll meet you there and show you how to end row two. I'm over at the end of row two and when you look at your work you're going to have two stitches remaining. It's kind of hard to see when you're looking at it this way but if you turn your work you're going to see one two stitches. We're going to insert into the next stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to yarn over turn your work insert your hook under the top two loops of that last stitch and you're going to work a half double crochet yarn over pull through that stitch you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook row two is finished so let me zoom out a little and show you what your work should look like this is what it looks like just a nice delicate texture doing that alternating single crochet double crochet so now what you want to do is you're going to go ahead if you need help click back on the video and you're going to repeat row two until you get to row 94 so just continue working row two for 92 more rows and then you should be at the end of row 94 so go ahead and continue again if you need help just click back on the video repeat row 2 until you get to the end of row 94 and I'll meet you there I'm over at the end of row 94 this is what your afghan should look like so far and now we're going to go ahead and turn our work and start round one of the border so again you should be at the end of row 94. so i'm at the end of row 94 you should have ended with a half double crochet and now we're going to go ahead and start round one of the border you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work we're going to skip the chain one we're going to insert into the first stitch work a single crochet so now we're going to go ahead and start the repeat for across the top of the afghan so this is the start of the repeat you're going to chain one you're going to skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a single crochet and that is the end of the repeat very simple let's do it again you're going to chain one skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a single crochet that is the end of the repeat so let's do it one more time you're going to chain one skip the next stitch insert into the next stitch work a single crochet and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead if you need help click back on the video you're going to chain one skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch you're going to repeat that across to within the last stitch across the top i'll meet you there and we'll continue with our border
I'm over at my first corner. I worked across the top of my afghan and you should have one stitch remaining. When you turn your work, you can see that ending single crochet stitch. And this is what it looks like. One single crochet, a chain one, skip a stitch, and then a single crochet worked across the top of the afghan. Now, because we don't have enough stitches to finish the pattern, we're just going to go ahead and chain one, and then we're going to insert right into that ending single crochet to finish this pattern across the row. We're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to insert your hook right back into that ending single crochet where we worked that last stitch. Work a single crochet. And this is turning our work around the corner. This created our corner and we worked in the last stitch and we worked in that first row end stitch of that single crochet. So now we're going to repeat our pattern down the length. So we're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next row end stitch, which is this longer half double crochet row. And you're going to insert into the next single crochet row end stitch. Insert into that single crochet row end stitch. Work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's continue working a little bit more down the length. We're going to chain one. You're going to skip that next long half double crochet row end stitch. Insert into the next single crochet row end stitch. Work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Chain one. Skip the next row end stitch. Insert into the next row end stitch. Work a single crochet. Chain one. Skip the next row end stitch, insert into the next row end stitch, work a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat down the length. You're going to chain one, skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch, and you're going to do that across to the next corner. Now when you're ending this repeat, you're going to end with a single crochet at the base of the last row in the first chain going across the foundation chain. So go ahead, work across to your next corner. I'll meet you there, show you how to finish going down the length and around the corner. I just worked down the length and we're working down the second side of our afghan down the length. So now we're over at our next corner. And when you get to the length, let me zoom up. You're going to be over at the last row. So you worked your single crochet into that single crochet row end stitch. And then you have your ending row. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the ending row. And we're going right into the first chain at the base of that last row. So insert your hook into the base of that last row and it's the first chain going across the foundation chain and you're going to work a single crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two. And we're going to single crochet right back into that same chain at the base of that last row end and the first chain across. So insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. So we finished the second side and we made our corner. So now we're getting ready to work across the bottom of our afghan. So now we're getting ready to work across the bottom of our afghan and we're going to be working into the chains instead of the stitches. So let me zoom up just a little bit more so you can see better. And we're going to continue the same pattern. We're going to begin and chain one. You're going to skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. 
and that's all you're going to do across the bottom of your afghan and you can see those chains if you have a hard time follow your stitches down and that's where you're going to insert your hook right at the base of those stitches so let's begin again chain one skip the next chain insert into the next chain work a single crochet chain one you're going to skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Let's do it one more time. Chain one, skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. So go ahead and continue. If you need help, click back on the video. You're going to chain one, skip a chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Repeat that across until you get to within the last chain. I'll meet you there and show you how to finish the bottom of the afghan and turn the corner. I just worked across the bottom of the afghan. This is what your work should look like and you should be over at the corner and you should have one chain remaining. So when you look at your work you're going to have your ending row and stitch and one chain. So to work the rest of this side and to go around the corner, we're going to chain one. We're going to skip this last chain and we're coming over to the row end stitch. So skip the last chain, insert into the first row end stitch down the length of your afghan, work a single crochet. You're going to chain two insert back into that first row end stitch and work a single crochet. So we finished the third side, we made our corner, and now we're ready to begin going down the length of the fourth side of the afghan. So now we're going to go ahead and repeat in the same manner. You're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next row end stitch, insert into the next row and stitch, work a single crochet. You're going to chain one, skip the next row and stitch, insert into the next row and stitch, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next row and stitch, insert into the next row and stitch, work a single crochet. I'll show you one more time. You're going to chain one, skip the next row end stitch, insert into the next row end stitch, and work a single crochet. So go ahead and continue. Chain one, skip the next row end stitch, single crochet into the next row end stitch. You're going to repeat that down the length until you get to within the last row right before the corner. So go ahead and continue and I'll meet you at the next corner. I worked down my length and now I'm over to the corner. And when you look at your work, it's, it's kind of confusing a little bit because it is so lacy and because of the colors. We have one row remaining here where we done our first single crochet. So we worked that first single crochet right here into the first stitch. So we have this last row end stitch right here. So what we're going to do is because we don't have that extra row, we're just going to continue with our pattern anyhow. We're going to chain one and then we're just going to go right into the side of this row end stitch. So follow that first single crochet down to the base, insert at the base of that first single crochet of round one and work a single crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. So when you look at your work, here is your beginning single crochet. You have your chain one, you have your single crochet, and then your chain one space here for your space. So follow that back, insert under the top two loops of that beginning single crochet of round one, and slip stitch. I'm going to fasten off my work. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our white and continue our border. 
we just finished round one and now we're going to start round two of our border but you need to drop your hook size down and you're going to change to a smaller hook and we're going with the size H8 or 5 millimeter hook so make sure you drop that hook size down I already attached my yarn to my hook with a double knot and I'm just going to slip stitch and join my yarn into the top corner chain two space insert into the corner chain two yarn over pull through that chain two space and pull through the loop on your hook so now our yarn is attached we're going to begin with the chain three one two and three and this beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet we're going to work one more double crochet into the same corner chain two space yarn over insert into the corner chain two work a double crochet you're going to chain two one two and we're going to work two more double crochet into the same corner chain two space yarn over insert back into that corner chain two and work two double crochet one and two and this creates our corner you're going to have the beginning chain three is the first double crochet a double crochet chain two and two double crochet all into that corner chain two so now we're just going to work two double crochet in each of the chain one spaces across so let's begin you're going to yarn over you're going to skip the next single crochet insert into the chain one space work two double crochet one insert back into that same chain one space and work your second double crochet so we're just going to repeat two double crochet into each chain one space across to the next corner so let's continue yarn over skip the next single crochet insert into that next chain one space work two double crochet one and two yarn over skip the next single crochet insert into the next chain one space work two double crochet one and two and that's all there is to working this round across so go ahead and work two double crochet in each chain one space across to the next corner and I'll meet you there I'm over to the corner I just worked across the top of the afghan this is what it should look like you should have two double crochet in each chain one space across until you get to your corner so now since we're over at our corner we're going to work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet into this corner chain two space yarn over insert into that corner chain two work two double crochet one and two you're going to chain two now we're going to work two more double crochet into this corner chain two space yarn over insert into that same corner chain two space and work two double crochet one and two and then you can see how it forms the corner and transitions around to the other side so now what we're going to do this started the repeat so I forgot to mention that when you get to the corner chain two space this is going to start your repeat where you're going to work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet into the corners and then you're just going to work two double crochet in each chain one space across until you get to the next corner so work two double crochet into this next chain one space work two double crochet into the next chain one space and you're just going to continue working two double crochet in each chain one space across to the next corner 
So that is the repeat. Again, you're going to start the repeat by working two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into the corner chain two space, and then you're going to repeat two double crochet in each chain one space across until you get to the next corner. So go ahead and repeat that around the remaining three sides and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like. You should have ended with two double crochet into your last chain one space around and then we're back over to the corner. Now we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. This is what your work should look like. You should have two double crochet in each chain one space around your afghan, and two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in each corner chain two space. So now we're getting ready to do the last and final round, round three. We're going to be working in between the first and second stitch of each two double crochet group. So we're going right between the post of those stitches. And then we're going to work in the corner chain two space. And then again, in between the first and second stitch of each two double crochet group around. We're going to begin and we're going to slip stitch between the first and second double crochet of that first two double crochet group. Insert your hook between the first and second stitch right between the post and slip stitch. We're going to begin with a chain three, one, two, three, and this beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work one more double crochet into that same space, yarn over, insert back into that same space between the first and second stitch, work a double crochet. We're going to work a pico stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back to the front of your work and you're going to insert from the top to the bottom through the front loop of that last stitch made and slip stitch. Your pico stitch is made. Now we're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch two times into this corner chain two space. Now this is going to start the repeat so if you need help you're going to click back on the video to where we started right in the center of our corner chain two space to begin our repeat for this round. You're going to yarn over insert into that corner chain two space, work two double crochet, one and two. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, bring your hook back around, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last stitch worked and slip stitch. And we're going to do that again into the same space. Yarn over, insert back into that corner chain two space, work two double crochet, one and two. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back to the front of your work. You're going to insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last double crochet worked and slip stitch your corner is finished and you're just working two double crochet and a pico stitch two times into that corner chain two space and you'll do this in each corner around. Now we're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch between the first and second stitch of each two double crochet group across to your next corner. So pretty easy round. You're going to yarn over, insert between the first and second stitch right in the center between those posts, work two double crochet. One and two. You're going to chain three, 
bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through that front loop of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. And we're going to continue working two double crochet and a pico stitch right in the center of the first and second stitch of each two double crochet group across. So let's do it one or two more times. Yarn over, insert between the first and second stitch of that next two double crochet group, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain three, bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over. You're going to find your next two double crochet group. Insert your hook between the first and second post of those stitches right in the center. Work two double crochet. One. And two. You're going to chain three. Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop only of the last stitch worked, and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So continue. If you need help, click back on the video and repeat from the corner here with the two double crochet pico stitch twice, and then two double crochet and a pico one time in between the first and second stitch of each two double crochet group across to the next corner. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. This is what your work should look like, your border. You have those two double crochet and then that pico stitch and then you work all the way around and when you get to your corner you have the two double crochet pico stitch two times in your corner chain two space around your afghan. So now we ended with our two double crochet pico stitch in between those last two double crochet stitches around and we're just going to join with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three insert your hook into the top of that chain and slip stitch. I'm just going to fasten off my work. I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my ends and I'll be back and I'll show you the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is what it looks like. Again, I want to thank everyone for stopping by my channel today and crocheting along with me and making the crystal blue baby afghan. And remember, you can customize this and make it in a solid color. You can use a self-striping yarn like I did or choose a variegated. So many different ways to make this adorable little baby blanket. Thanks again, everybody. And until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.